when we think about truth and universal truth, there are very few universal truths that hold common across everyone and everything. Everything else is personal or self-truth. And that is based on your perspective, where you are in your life, and it'll shift. So all we can do is come at life from our own self-truth narrative. And that's kind of like living your own superhero journey or your own sci-fi experience or what do you want your life to look like? What experience do you want your life to be, including your spiritual experience? Hey, Heart Leader community, we are so excited. The Silence Your Inner Critic Immersive Retreat is open for early registration. Click the link below to learn more and secure your spot today. And so we started crafting this organization around that. How do you begin to have this amazing spiritual journey without having everything else tell you what that should be. Mm. How do you get in touch with that? And how, what part does religion play in that? What part does your health play in that? After all, this is your ship. Mm -hmm. This is your temple. This is your everything that your spirit is playing in. Mm. So, What does that mean for you? And what does everything around you interplay into that? And so we started having that exchange, right? Mm -hmm. And how does it shift your self-truth over time? Yeah. And self-truth, in a world where truth almost feels elusive, we are getting so many different types of truths. could be real truths it could be mistruths it could be you know totally you know made up you know just it's it's you know it's different levels of what truth is it's 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 daunting to to look out and you know if you if you want to understand something in the world you look out and you start kind of googling it or researching it and all of a sudden there's all these articles on why it is why it isn't why it's in between and you're like well what what do i believe but and now I'm going to quote Morpheus, right? Yes. What is real? What is real? Yes. Exactly. Right? I love it. <laughs> this goes back to the whole <laughs> sci-fi aspect. Yes. What is truth? Yes. What is real? Exactly. Is there a spoon? <laughs> is, I, they, <laughs> this is, these are great questions and part of the internal discovery. And, you know, we often talk about, um, like in our previous podcasts about uh, relationships, and we talked about how um, our limitation of our compassion to ourselves limits our ability to have compassion for others, right? Yes. I feel like that also follows suit when it comes to truth. If we don't have the awareness of our own self-truth, that limits our ability to recognize truth around us. And so that's why this is so vital to how we approach Sui Vera and spirituality as a whole. You know, we, we talked about in the last podcast how it's a, it starts from within. It's an internal experience moving into the external. What's the best way to build a strong concrete foundation? It's on building self-truth. You know, how do I understand who I am and how can then I bring that into the rest of the world? Like what is truth for me? And even a heart leader, yeah. right? You, it's challenging to lead from the heart center if you don't know what's in your own heart. Yeah. And it's challenging to get to that place if you don't have tools or resources to know how to get back there. Mm-hmm. When everything else in the world has guided you to live a life outside of you, what do you do to navigate back in? Mm-hmm. And a podcast is going, going to get you so far, mm-hmm. right? Any, we are huge consumers of podcasts. It's yes. not just our own. Like We love listening to podcasts because there are so many out there that give you so many great insights. Aubrey Marcus, we love you. Mm-hmm. Um, there are just a ton of fantastic individuals. You could give people lists and lists upon lists. Definitely. But 
you also need tangible tools and things that a community that can rally around you when you have questions. Mm -hmm. That's why we have an organization that's behind this. So it isn't just you have a podcast and we provide you with information once a week. We also wanted to have an organization and all of these tools and resources and a community of over a million people that can rally behind when we start to have these questions about, all right, I desire to know what my self-truth is, but I've never been given a space a true space to feel safe, mm-hmm. to explore what my self-truth is. Because the moment I would start to tiptoe outside the box of what other people told me my truth is, I would get put right back in the box. Mm-hmm. And we want to begin to create that safe space where individuals could start to explore and begin to understand Now, that doesn't mean that you won't hold to the same truths that you currently have. Mm -hmm. But at least then you'll know. You'll know what your self-truth is. Is it still in alignment with exactly where you are now? Or could it possibly expand to include a few other things? Mm -hmm.